the time I've been waiting for a long time, and as well as Tim, Nick, and Ed, it is now 3.41, and I'm going to get up there early. I know those birds on those ridges, so got my coffee, got my calls, got my gun, got my camera, and we're going to go try to kill this bird. Get in there early. Hopefully people, if there has anyone... If anyone has hunted in Pennsylvania public ground that's watching this, you guys know the struggle. I'm sure that some of you have. So I'm going to get in there early. Hopefully some people have the respect to leave me alone if they want to come in. If not, we'll just have to hunt together. But I'm just going to have to outrun them. Light number one. Light number two. And we're out of here. AM, we're heading in. Opening day turkey season. Heading out to meet BJ right now. Gonna head into where I had that bird roosted last night. Uh, see if we can't get on him from yesterday morning there and see what happens and hopefully he's still there. If he's still there, we'll have a good chance. Uh, hardest part's gonna be getting into him though because it's so wide open right now and there's no no greenery to keep cover. But next time you see us, it'll be light out, so hopefully we'll be sitting close to him and he'll be gobbling his head off. It's time, baby, chasing thunder right now. Chasing down the same long beard as get up early and I'm giving him all I got. Moment of truth here. I'm about to turn off to this road where I need to park. And Let's see if there's anyone here. It's only 4 a.m. <laughs> but I've seen crazier things where guys will be in here earlier than me. The goal is today, get back here. Hopefully beat everyone back here. If I see anyone back here, just talk to them. You know, before they get out of their trucks, tell them where I'm gonna be. You know, it's always good to be safe. Obviously, that's the main goal. Not getting shot, not running into any problems with anyone. So, other than that, we're gonna hunt some birds. It's about 4 a.m. Uh, maybe take a little nap. Probably not. Get on my truck about 5. Head in to above him where I know I'll hear him, and uh, make a game plan from there. Stick with me. I just made a pretty rookie mistake. I uh, had my keys in my hand and I pressed the alarm button. My horn went off about four times. Yeah, three times. So if the turkeys weren't awake, they're awake now. I had my door open though and I didn't hear anything. So hopefully we're good. But it's a beautiful morning, crisp little cloudy but he should definitely be gobbling hard about 5 10 i'm gonna sneak down on the edge of this strip minefield and see what i can get it into well that's turkey hunting for you yesterday morning these birds probably gobbled 50 times last night one lit up right before we went to roost Another time on the limb this morning, nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. There's a pack of coyotes in here, and I'm thinking they could be silent because of that, but they weren't yesterday. Plan B is I'm gonna get up to this high point, see if I can just listen. Man, that sucks. I thought those birds would be going nuts today.
try it. There's also another vehicle. But I don't think anyone's on this bird. So we'll go for it here. Well, I'm not real sure what happened there, but that bird just went silent. We went silent for a bit, tried to get him to fire back up and nothing. I don't know if he came over and saw us or saw something he didn't like or, or what, but it was weird. Uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, either strike another one up or we'll call it a day here and head in since you can only hunt till noon here in PA and uh, head out tomorrow morning, try to find something and get on it on Monday. I mean, I think that's gonna be our best bet, but uh, I don't know, weird day for sure. Lots of people, public ground was getting hammered as uh, so many vehicles around there. Hopefully no one gets out where we were at and that bird moves back in there and we can get on him uh, this week sometime. I know he's there, have signs there. It's just a matter of time until he's there and we, we can get in there and kill him. But uh, not too much excitement today. Uh, Monday will be a new day and we'll, we'll get right back after it. Well, I had that strutter at 200 yards and the guy parked, called, bird gobbled. I was watching all of it and guy called again in the wide open wide open in the middle of the field and bird gobbled and turned around and went back in the woods so I figured instead of chasing this bird down I'm gonna try to go locate some other ones it's about my favorite time of the day whenever uh, there's strutters in people's backyards with like 19 hens 40 yards off the road that's usually how it goes here so try to get on some more birds I'll hunt till 12 hopefully get on one I know there's a good many these spots I have located. I finally found a gate. Look, no one parked at it. There was a guy parked like 50 yards below it, but he probably had one up on this ridge this morning. Um, looked at the topography. There's a ridge up on top. I know there's gonna be guys up there, but ridge up on top, a bunch of fingers. I'm gonna get to this high point. There is a field up here, just a little guy. Let's see if I can. Uh, Maybe get one located. I don't know. Midday work, midday walks can be pretty fun. Well, <laughs> walking on the Route 53 here. 
I'm taking these hollows from my truck down to another road. And uh, I knew I was gonna do this, but what I didn't know is the end game, what I was trying to do was get back to, hello, hi. What I was trying to do is touch every little hollow, touch every little finger ridge and just listen. And I had a plan on coming back through circling back through but I'm one of those guys I see another ridge see another ridge oh that looks like a nice hollow oh oh yeah and then seven miles from your truck so that concludes opening day in PA I heard three gobbles all day put on I think eight and a half miles I think don't quote me so we'll see Monday Monday we'll see